Brendan Armstrong is a married man. The Dancing with the Stars Pro, 28, married fiancé Briley Ivers, 24, in a romantic and modern outdoor ceremony in Utah on Saturday, and People has all the details. While the duo participated in a religious ceremony earlier in the day, they exchanged their own vows in front of about 125 of their closest friends and family at Siempre, a modern venue tucked away in the Draper, Utah, mountains. Because so many people get married in Utah so young, we wanted something that was a little bit different than the traditional church, chapel wedding, says Armstrong who popped the question to Ivers in March. Continuing with the non-traditional route, the duo opted for a first look ahead of their big day, which was super special for the both of them. I'm not a crier, Armstrong says of seeing his bride for the first time in her simple and timeless gown, designed by Altimoda Bridal but I bawled. I knew she was obviously gonna choose a dress that was going to be beautiful, he continues. And I didn't have any really defining or super important feelings about what I wanted the dress to look like. I was just happy that it was something that was beautiful and that she felt confident in. Everything was so, so good. The bride, who walked down the aisle to Elvis Presley's Can't Help Falling in Love, and the groom were accompanied by 18 groomsmen and bridesmaids on each side and surrounded by plush greenery and white roses designed by Artisan Bloom. After the intimate ceremony, planned by Fuse Weddings and events by Mara Mostzer, the couple enjoyed dinner with their guests where they shared their first dance to Daniel Caesar and her .s hit best part, before heading into the bigger celebration that included 500 people. And, yes, DWTS pros Lindsay Arnold, Whitney Carson, Jenna Johnson and Emma Slater were all in attendance. During the reception, the duo cut and enjoyed an almond-flavored, five-tier wedding cake made by Alessandra and danced the night away to early 2000s and current hits played by DJ Ricky Barrera. As for what's next? The newlyweds are looking forward to just being together and honeymooning in the Dominican Republic. I'm excited that I can commit to her and express my love to her and that I can do it in a way that I think is right, says Armstrong. A way that is good and loving and old school. I'm excited to show people she's the love of my life and that I'm committed to her.